the business you used to be in. Do you miss it? Um, I miss some of my friends, uh, but it, it's uh, fun to watch. Yeah. What did, yeah. What, did you, what, did you, what did you think of the vice president uh, coming right up to the gate and then? Uh, yeah. Running? Before I say, can I just say one thing about Actually, Massachusetts? I think what you're seeing in Massachusetts is. Because of the dynamics, because the Republican Party nationally has become so conservative, the Massachusetts Republican Party has become almost vestigial. And what, what mm -hmm. happens is people who want to be influential have left the party, they vote in other primaries. So as a result of that, while an individual popular guy, Baker, can win, the Democrats just overwhelmingly win. I think what you're seeing is an unrepresentatively hardcore primary electorate that's probably not projectable to anywhere else. On Biden, uh, he did the right thing. Um, he's a very able man. There was this problem with Joe. One of his strengths became a weakness. Remember, he ran for president twice. He didn't do very well. I yeah. think he's been a great public servant, but one of the things that endears him to people, the folksiness, the openness, um, that somehow made people think he wasn't presidential. So I think it would have been a mistake for him uh, to come in. I think there is now a growing kind of support for uh, for Hillary Clinton. I did, I was a little regretful, I can understand. He sees a great career sort of coming to an end now, uh, mm -hmm. sort of picking a fight with Hillary Clinton uh, unnecessarily when he said she should be more supportive of Obama. You know, you go back and uh, uh, it's, it's Johnson Humphrey, it's, it's Clinton Gore. There's always this uh, tension. And no, I don't think the, the candidate to succeed, even a popular two-term president, or to be held to a kind of oh you must do whatever whatever he did. What what do you what goes through yeah. your amazing head when you look at the House of Representatives today, the way it's gone, the way it's gone with the Republicans. You know they seem to be an element of the Republican Party seems to be almost totally out of control in terms of leadership. You served under Tip O'Neill as Speaker. Uh, you were there when Jim Wright was there briefly as Speaker. Uh, what goes through your head? Well, first, I think it's time, and I think there's a little sexism here, to recognize Nancy Pelosi's great strength. If you look exactly. at the speaker since oh, Tip, wow. if you look at Jim Wright and Newt Gingrich, language. Tom Foley getting beat for re-election, <laughs> yeah. Boehner, Nancy Pelosi stands out as probably the most successful, maybe the only yeah. successful speaker since since Tip. And I honestly believe because she's a soft-spoken, so, elegant woman that, that that she's undervalued. Secondly, I think the Republicans have this problem both in race and I agree with Bill Trump is not going to be the nominee but as long as he is there and says those things and Carson as well he helps the Democrats you, Joe, that, that all won't just go away Joe, but I in. think the Republicans have made this mistake over the past years against Obama they have not just said public policies were wrong they demonized government and they have so mm -hmm. persuaded so yeah. many of their voters of that <clears throat> they're having trouble assembling a governing majority